Greetings everyone, welcome to Token Nuggets. In this video, Patrick from Slogum Crypto gives us a walkthrough and demo of the DaVinci Art Gallery linked to the One Harmony protocol. We hope you find this helpful and thanks to Slogum Crypto for their help in making this video. As always, thanks for watching and thank you for your time. Greetings everyone, welcome to Token Nuggets again. This is an NFT demonstration session with Patrick of Slogan Crypto. We're just going to run through an NFT creating or meeting session. But first of all, we'll do a quick fire round and, you know, introduce ourselves. So you want to go first? Introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, well, uh, thank you very much again, uh, Patrick, for joining us this late hour in our time here. Uh, the UK, thanks very much, Token Nuggets, for having me. It's always a pleasure, and it's so here again, one of the crypto enthusiasts. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Uh, Patrick, please run through again. Everyone knows you, but hey, go ahead. Please <laughs> say it again. Yeah, I'm uh, Patrick from Slug and Crypto, validator on the Harmony One blockchain, and I've been a long time crypto user and getting into all the different facets of uh, Harmony that are popping up now that the, the chain is live and very active after two months now. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so Patrick's going to demonstrate to take us through a sort of walkthrough session of how to create uh, NFT on the Da Vinci Gallery. The da Vinci Gallery is linked to Harmony. So let, I'll, I'll hand over to Patrick to just walk us through. Patrick, please share your screen. Yeah, and walk us through, please. So there's the Da Vinci Gallery, and we're on the main page here. It's just DaVinci.Gallery. Yeah. And we are signed in with a, a Harmony wallet. Oh, here, so, yeah, so if I go. You know, you can check out the artists here, go through the buttons. And they have the, some of their featured ones, of course, on the, the front page here, including some of the more uh, known people. They actually have selling art on here. So Fluffy Pencil here, lead animator yep. for Rick and Morty, and you can view his collection. And of course, there's the Harmony Rick and Morty there for you. Yeah. Which is sold out, unfortunately. Sorry, you, you missed it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <geez. laughs> I love the other chances, I'm sure. So yeah, then there's galleries. I don't think they have official galleries posted yet. They have, these are these are still coming up. Um, there will be a resale market. There's just kind of an explore button here to view the latest things that have been posted on their gallery for for sale. So when you check out an NFT, like let's go to my creation. I have, I have a few of them. I'm working on a line of um of cats right now for my uh, validator to sell cats are uh, cats are always a heat so <laughs> yeah we are, we'll, we'll make one here I, i've got some uh, other versions of this cat i need to make uh in some right, cool. style so we'll, we'll make the the legendary uh version of this one today as you can see <laughs> you can pull right. up a uh, uh <laughs> up an nft on the gallery here if i do just the view version like you'd see if you came here uh, okay. let's get some info about it so you can like them how many times it's been viewed um okay. the rarity and how many available so this one right. ten. the name some info on it and then any tags that are, was tagged with will be here as well so then it shows you how much the price is and uh how much the royalties are if you resell that item okay, okay. and that's about all there is the purchasing one is deciding hmm, does that look good buy if this would say buy instead of edit if i was uh, on another okay. account or wallet but uh, yeah so Okay. And if you go back into the uh, main view, you can see where I can edit this stuff still because I haven't started selling this one yet. Well, yeah, right. because I'm setting up a few more here. So yeah, you can see your, okay. your creations that way. I don't have anything in my collection here on this okay. account. So okay. uh, I can't get them to myself, apparently, I learned. So all right. But yeah, so that's okay. kind of a breeze through of the whole gallery. Uh, and then we can walk through uh, making one if we want, which is okay. up here. So, so we got a good, okay, so shall we create one now? With yeah, this sure. Yeah. Okay, I've got so some other ones I can make here as an example that I need to put in anyways because I can make five a day, so I don't want to waste any uh, making one. So we'll make a, yeah, a real okay. world example here live. Excellent. And, so let's uh, walk through this. Get going. Yeah. So, so you get up at the top. You can set up a collection if you want a, a collection of your own stuff. I just use the main Da Vinci Gallery right now. Okay. And it gets listed in their main gallery on the site, and then everybody gets to see it there. So, right. kind of the the point right now you know maybe someday i'd start working with the galleries so if you're an artist or something you could set up your own gallery and then add okay. art down the road to your own gallery okay. and then there would be a okay. link to that gallery separate with just the art that you put in there so if you wanted to do a new one you just hit the new one you can put a cover photo on it upload a cover photo for it name the gallery and put a description in okay save that with your wallet 
But for us, we're just going to make one and leave it in the default DaVinci one here. All right, so you've got the options for images, music, yeah. videos, and books. GIF, okay. PNG, GIF, okay. Right. Oh, that, looks, that looks cool. <laughs> so this one is the uh, the rare one, of course, because nice. <laughs> it looks nice. the coolest, <laughs> nice. as you mentioned. Nice. Uh, so this is the uh, <laughs> this is our rare Mr. Okay. Kitty. Okay. Legendary card here, so a little description. Okay, okay. yeah. Okay. And then for me, everything I sell goes back to my validator. So I have a little bit okay. of that. Okay. Anytime it's resold, it's the same thing. So there's only going to be one of these. So that's, uh, that's, so that's just one copy. Just one copy of this one, and I'm going to sell it for a thousand because there's only one. So if somebody yeah. really wants it to support me, it's a little uh, you, more. You get you get to set the royalties percentage there. You get to you set, set your royalty percentage, and you can go up to fifty percent on okay. resale. So okay. yeah, definitely. You know, artists who are making one of a kind, unique pieces, and want to slice back if somebody decides Absolutely. they want to sell it down the road yep. on Harmony One, you have that option here on the, the Da Vinci Gallery. And I know Da Vinci is working on making that um, be supported cross chain as well. So yeah, yeah, at the point yes. when you can send these over to Ethereum and sell them there, you would then still hmm. get uh, your money. That'll, that'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Happy. Cool. So, anyway, and then you hit creates and it'll pop up with your wallet and ask you for your password here. Okay, so it makes a data. And okay. It tells you how much gas gas price, one gray. Okay. Yep, and where you're going, the, the normal gas limit, uh, so yeah. which I think comes out to point zero zero. Yeah, that's that's yeah, a little <laughs> Right. So yeah, put your password in and it'll get okay. your ID and then you'll So create a create and sell order, please wait. Okay. So that goes straight into the marketplace. Uh, it, not yet. You'll get one more chance to edit a few things here. Oh, so right. you'll, okay. you'll, you'll want to say, click to see your new collectible. Okay. So there, there's okay. our rare kitty, uh, our unique kitty, one of one. So I meant to do unique. So we're going to change the matter and all. So okay. I meant to change something. I will work on that in a second. <laughs> we'll come back. But uh, you can update your description in that. Yes, and then once yes. you hit save here, then it is listed if you have it listed for direct sale. Direct sale. You can set them as not for sale for now and change that back and forth when you want. So, so what's the sale. difference? With, what, what's the difference? There's the sale type, direct sale, and his option. So uh, the auction just... has not started yet, but when the okay. marketplace goes live, I believe you'll be able to put them up at a, at a bid price, you know, with okay. the reserve okay. and sell them that way. Kind of like some of the other marketplaces that yeah, yeah. might be familiar with. Okay, yeah. excellent. That would okay. that would do that. So yeah. So you could now save it and then. I'm just on the fly here. Okay. The okay. unique kitty because it's our unique one. Yeah. And we'll save and now this one will be posted for okay. sale. I don't ah. have the to pass it. Token save the sell order updated. Okay. So that's, that's in same. the main gallery, the main the Vinci gallery. Or is this still an edit state now? Uh, this is in the edit view, yeah. But if you go to the gallery itself, if we go back to Explore now, we should be the first one listed right now. So, oh, well, there you go. Like, and oh, there it is. There. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So that's okay. how how easy it is to get one listed, and you know, it costs us less than a cent to uh, to, uh, to get some art listed online, but. Uh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you can you can do it. The way I'm doing it is more of a fundraiser, so they're just kind of a token of yeah. appreciation for uh, you know donating a few one to us. And, nice, uh, nice. You know the, nice. the artists yeah. out there obviously have options to do a, li a line of stuff, uh, uh -huh. so single items if you'd like, or you know how, however you'd like to break it up or go for fantastic, that. fantastic. But, that's that's, you know, that's really weird. unique things like that. Yeah. Okay. So somebody comes in and interested in that picture, you just click on it. Pay the token and the picture is gone from that gallery. Yep, you would. Uh, we can okay. we can look at another one here, like the one next to us that was designed. But yeah, if I wanted this one, two hundred one, click buy now, it'll pop up and say put in your password, which I will reject at this time. Okay, but that's, <laughs> that's it, it, and that's it. it would okay. be mine. Yeah, okay. um, and then it would show up right in your my collection. Which, but if I pop out and pop into okay. another wallet yeah. here, I can show you the. So I've got a question with this uh, NFT. So, so, okay. so what happens to the original picture that you have? I mean, are you sending the original picture itself? And yeah, so I'm looking at things yeah, like maybe copyright. So, so. Um, they won't let you use copyrighted material anymore. So they the, they're okay. banning accounts that do that. But you do get a copy of the original image when you get the NFT. So you can pull up the full art. 
size and everything. Right. Okay. Um, and then there is a when you're creating them again down here at the bottom. There's a section where you can put an unlock code. So you can set this to say, once it's bought, you can give them a link or info or anything you want that comes behind the scenes with that NFT. So you can basically lock items in the NFT that are unlocked um, I mean, only to the owner when it's purchased. I think that's the point I'm actually trying to make in terms of authenticity of that picture, you see. Okay, that, that yeah. makes sense. That's good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Excellent. Yeah, it could be to a certificate or something that someone owns, you know, or registers yeah. Yeah. as they own it with a code that's in there or something, and only that person, you know, so something along Would those be, lines. Yes, Great stuff. this is very secure. Excellent. Okay, so I suppose yeah. you do the same as well if you were trying to upload some music or you had a yeah. footage of a video, it's still going to be the same process. Even a book, yeah, music, book, paintings, photos, <laughs> all sorts, yeah. Excellent. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, good Thank stuff, Patrick. You. Thank you very much indeed for that. Excellent. Any other tips or hacks within the, the gallery that people should uh, pay attention to or know about? I don't think there's, you know, much at this point. We got to wait until the market comes online till we can really see some okay. <laughs> tips and tricks and things like that. For now, it's just pretty straightforward. Okay. okay. If you know an artist yeah. to search for, great. Otherwise, you kind of have to look through the market or find them on Twitter or something and then yeah. uh, get linked to their stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much indeed for that, Patrick. Thank you. I'm sure people no, thanks so much. Have a look at this and uh, have a gander at this. I'm going to have a gander. This is my guide now on how to create stuff from that. And I've got quite a few ideas that I've, I've shared with you, Patrick, as well. Things, people, just, just to talk to people about this and see how they can start uh, putting things together, creating collections and all of that. You just never yeah, know. For sure. There's, there's a lot of different options and things they could do with them. So it'll be interesting to see what gets created. Absolutely. I agree. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed for that. Okay. So that is our NFT walkthrough session, especially with uh, the Da Vinci uh, NFT gallery. So thanks for that. So that rounds it off. We hope you have enjoyed that walkthrough session on the Da Vinci NFT art gallery with Slugum Crypto. We'd like to refer you to two articles to learn from. The first article is this one from Decrypt.co. The title is Non-Fungible Tokens, a beginner's guide. So have a look at that one. There's quite a few things to take away from there. And the second article is another interesting one we came across. The title of that one is An Introduction to Non-Fungible Tokens by Mo Jalo. Very good and easy read. It does give a good basic understanding of what uh, NFTs are about and it delves into the possible uses of NFTs, artwork, sports, music, fashion, etc. So do please have a look at these two articles. We shall link them at the description of the video so you can have a read. Again, thanks as always for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Peace.